Uh, hi, my name is uh, Panindra Godapati. I go by PG. I am an IPC juror. I was asked to critique your image waiting for my night. Thanks a lot for submitting your image to professional photographers of San Antonio. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the image and uh, see what are the elements that are working for it and uh, what could help the image to be more impactful. Uh, okay, so you have a beautiful subject matter, um, nice uh, kicker, uh, very subtle kicker light that's coming from, you know, hitting her hair and uh, the back and uh, clean presentation and uh, posing is working, uh, but we will talk more about it and see, you know, if there are improvements could be done. Okay, let's take a look. Um, so when the judges are looking at the image, they are looking for um, different elements within the image. You know, overall impact, how the overall impact is, technical excellencies, creativity, style, composition, uh, and, and different other elements that are there. From the technical excellence perspective, uh, I think the image is working for most part, as in um, the exposure is right and the image is sharp and all those elements are working good for it but if you look at the lighting uh, the lighting could use a little bit of direction on the subject matter to make more flattering image right now it seems like uh, entire subject is lit and we are lacking some direction of light as in uh, darker shadows, a little bit more shadows on the subject matter um, to give the 3D, three dimensionality to this uh, 2D, you know, surface we are looking at. Uh, so that would be the first thing I would suggest. And when we see the, when I'm watching the catch lights, I think it seems like the light, main light is coming in this direction. And there is a kicker here. So, and probably I'm guessing this might be the fill. Uh, so, but, but the ratio is what uh, I'm looking for. Ratio of the light is what I'm looking for. Okay, and uh, I see some artifacts. I mean, when I when I even from this distance here, I don't know if this is an intentional light that you want, the light leak you want on the image. But I see some background uh, folds and things like that in the background. So I would probably take care of those, you know, either in while capture or in the post-production because these are distracting elements from the subject. Um, and, and when we are looking at uh, the image itself, uh, I see that the foreground is having a lot of light. So some kind of light control, uh, just hitting the subject would be better because this foreground is distracting us from uh, the subject itself. Like when we look at the image like this, for example, if I take it very, very small, after the subject, my eye goes to the foreground. So this is one of the techniques I use uh, for print competition image to make the image smaller, to see a high level uh, compositional layout and what are the objects that are standing out. So when we look at this, definitely the subject is standing out first, but then we have the foreground also standing out. And um, posing wise, because she's keeping her weight on this arm, we have the, there is this little bulge on her shoulders here, right? Uh, and this arm seems very stiff and angular instead of diagonal, you know, in a curvy way, instead of the curvy way, we have a very right angle going on here. For this kind of image, uh, think about like, you know, what would happen if you switch the legs and keep the other arm down and might be this arm goes onto her knees and then switch the legs as well. So when, because of the leg, this leg being slightly flatter compared to the other leg, her shape here is also like flattened. But if she brings that leg up and create a triangle, in the front, that will first of all uh, reduce the real estate that leg is occupying on the image because that will appear to be thinner and also give a nice shape here to her body as well, to her bottom here as well. Okay, 
and um, from the facial angle perspective when we take a look here uh, so it's it's recommended to not cut the eye with the nose so might be her face could turn a little bit more to the camera so that we we see the complete eye and not lose a little tiny bit of we are losing a little tiny bit of that eye there um, so that that also foreshortens the face like if you see i mean when we, when we are looking at the mask of the face mask of the face being the forehead the cheeks and the chin and the nose so when we when we see this portion of the image the other side of the face the the farther side of the face from the camera is very shorter compared to the broad side of the face okay so tilt turning her face a little bit more to the camera will solve some of those issues as well okay um and i mean like so th those are the main things i would say that uh, so a little bit of direction in the light um and posing wise watch out for um curves versus lines and uh, you know pleasing to the subject uh, so different variations into posing would bring in the you know the impact together better i and uh, from retouching point of view not sure if uh, why the skin colors were different here versus here like suddenly there is a change in the skin tone uh in this portion uh and going down so watch out for those i it, it appears to be it's coming from the post processing but it could could be naturally be there so if that is the case might be you know makeup or something will blend that areas together okay i hope the feedback helps you um score wise i would probably put this into an average category um it might be you know 74 or 75 is 75 is a starting of above average category so i might be placing this image around that mainly for the technical issues of lighting and and then posing are the two elements that uh, could could help this image be more impactful okay uh, i uh, best of luck and uh, thanks a lot once again for entering the image and uh, i hope you find this feedback very helpful i wish to see more of your work in future and best wishes